this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network! Today, well, we couldn't get the power-up chip from Dad, but I can check out this large monitor for testing PETs, so yeah, let's check it out, see if they got any good stuff in there that Dad might have left for us. Maybe we can find that power-up chip. But anyway, we get a high cannon, awesome. Certainly gonna be better than the regular cannons that I'm probably gonna be clearing out today. Oh well. You will be missed. Served me well for the first three scenarios. Oh, really? What kind was it? Human what? Human what? You're not gonna tell me, are you? Nice. Well, maybe one of the other programs around here can help me. Okay, how's it going? Oh, the other guy probably meant human emotions. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well... Good, I guess? Well, not if you played the Mega Man X games. But anyway... I guess so. Whatever works for you, pal. But I do want to save here because there's a new enemy that I want to farm a chip from. They are very common, so hopefully I can get it on the first try. If not, well, then I'll skip until I do get to that point. See you on the other side! Okay, there's a new enemy I was looking for. Handy 2. Let's see what I can do with them. Hmm, probably gonna kill one of them with a wood tower because they're gonna sit still for a few seconds. And that might be the only chance I got. So, yeah, let's go with that and see what I can do the rest of the way. Now, after a while, though, these guys are gonna sink into the ground and plant these explosives in front of me. So, I wanna kill them or destroy the explosives with my buster and try to get into a position where I can kill both of them at once, like with Fireman, if I can get them both in the same column. Not very likely, but I think it's the best shot I got. So, yeah, let's go with that and hope for the best. See what we can do. Okay, Buster these down. Oh, gotta get rid of that. Okay, Buster down a little more. Okay. Okay, got that. Come on, where are you? Okay. Okay, we're doing good there. Okay, I think I might get it. See, a busting level of seven, I think. And that's all you need to get the chip from them. Seven or more. Hopefully this will work. Yes! All right! I wasn't sure if that was going to be good enough, but... All right! Woohoo! Let's get out of here. That's all I really cared about. There's another enemy, or new enemy, that I could have met up with there. And in the lobby TV area, too. But they're not important. The chip they drop isn't is more easily acquired otherwise. So anyway, okay, so we got the time bomb. Couldn't get the power-up chip, but oh well. Let's get out of here then. You know what? I'm gonna save just so I don't have to potentially redo that if I screw up somewhere. You never know. I mean, it looks easy, but I'm editing out a lot of the random battles, too, where anything can happen a lot more. Oh, I already uh, got a ticket. Right. So take that, get back to town, grab another ticket for later, because we're going to need to come back there later. Oh, what's going on? Hey, listen. Oh, yeah, you're kind of always busy, even when I'm around. Oh. Hey, all right. Take care of Mega Man. After all, these nano machines have been passed down from generation to generation, son. But anyway, all right. We got 20 more HP and a power-up chip. And this is going to be the last one I put into attack for quite some time because now I want to start putting my power-ups into the charge stat so I can actually use the buster. So that'll be really helpful. Now, if you also remember from last time, we got the, what was it, the Fire Tower F chip. So, now we can trade with this guy. Yeah, we can set things on fire! Fire, fire, fire! No, no. But I do want to get that Dino Wave chip, because it's a lot better than the Fire Tower chip. Alright! I mean, Fire Tower is okay, too, but the other towers are more powerful. Okay, so we got that. One more cannon to get rid of, but not yet. Okay, so let's see. I want to go to Internet Area 3, but I actually want to go to Dex's house because I got to go through Internet Area 2 in a different way than I did to get to Stone Man. 
So it's going to be a little tricky, but we'll be all right. By the way, if you want maps for all these areas, go to VG Maps. They got some really good maps on there. Although sometimes it's kind of hard to tell which way is which. Like if one passage is going above or below or whatever. With all that darn isometric view they got. Okay, let's see what we got here. Do we want to go up top? We want to start the same way we took to get the stone, man. Eventually, we're going to take a different path, though. Because now we got Sal's Link. Which unlocks Internet Area 3. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Okay, there's a new enemy I was... Well, I wasn't looking for, but it is there now. So, let's see what I can do with him. Okay, got Triple Shockwave. That ought to be good. Hit him once, at least. And we got him! Hooray! What can he drop? Oh, okay. Well, I guess he could drop Sword Tip. But, okay, there we are. Let's see, is there anything to the left there? There might be. Yeah, let's check it out. Nope. Oh, well. Some random data might be there, but not today. Well, at least we got this one. Eh, not interested. Oh, well. Too bad we can't sell these things. Well, you, there, there's other things you can do with them. I generally don't think it's worthwhile, but there's another thing you can do with them later on in the game. Excess chips, that is. But anyway, yeah, we got Sal's Link, so now we can go to Area 3. Okay, save here, just in case. And see what lies beyond. See if I can find those home pages, the access points that we got earlier. And there's a new enemy there. All right, B-Tank 2. Let's see, I can kill him with the one shockwave, and then finish him off. With, well, hit him once before he moves around, and then wait for him. Okay, got him. Easy enough. And, yes! All right. The chip I wanted to farm from him, too. Cross bomb. It's a little stronger than the other two, but it also hits not only the rows above and below, it's a column in front and behind where you uh, target. So it's like a plus sign there, and that can be really helpful for us. So, all right. Got rid of the last of the cannon chips. Let's see what we got here as far as uh, access point. Hey, hey! All right, easy enough. I don't think I'm going to use this one very often. The one for Dad's homepage, I think, is more useful. But, well, we got this one just in case. You never know. Oh, another WW pin door. Won't be able to access that for quite a while, but hey, hey, good money. Hopefully, you brought 15 grand with you. You got that 5 grand mystery data earlier. And then we can buy the wood armor. And I want to get that and put that on immediately because there's no enemies in Internet Area 3 that are fire elemental or use fire elemental attacks. So, oh, right, wrong thing. Now, in order to equip armor, you just go into Mega Man. Now you can actually select stuff and you equip it. And da all damage gets cut in half except fire, which get deals double damage to you, if I recall correctly. If you want to remove it, like let's say you know there's going to be fire enemies around, you can just select it and just go back to your regular armor so you don't risk taking more damage that way. But for now, it's really, really good. There's a reason it costs a lot. The other chips that Merchant has, totally not worth it. And we have another enemy who might be worth it. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, I'm going to... Let's see, the high cannon in the back there or whatever that one is called, Canadum 2. Let's see, now, let's see, he's just gonna sit there. So I'm gonna try and take out the B-Tank 2 first, and then take out the Canadum. Okay, wait for it, or he could do that. Okay, didn't see that one coming. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna bust him down. Under 12, yes. 12, if you go over 12 seconds, you lose another busting level. Well, at least I got some money out of the deal. Kind of screwed up a little bit there, but oh well. Let's see. Okay, yeah, let's go do this first. Grab that, unlock the access point. This would be pretty useful way later in the game because, let's see, the path to the right there, that leads to Internet Area 9. 
but you do not want to go there right now. The enemies there will kill you if you do. They're really powerful. But I do want to get this. Oh, well, okay, no, I didn't, but it's there. And there's still a couple more things that I want to check out here. Okay, nothing there. Let's go back. Okay, got another uh, cross bomb from that battle. Actually, hold on. Let's see the attack chips that I got. Mm, I am not liking that weak gutsman chip. It just sits there most of the time. I mean, yeah, it hits all enemies, so you'd think that would be really useful, but it's really hard to get more than one enemy down to 40 HP for that to really be useful. You want to get more of the higher tier gutsman chips. That'll be really good. But this one, mm, not that great. Okay, let's continue onward then. There's an old friend I want to visit here. Okay, we are in. Let's see, what do I got? Do I have anything else that I could bring to replace my sword chips? I don't think so. Yeah, I've maxed out on shockwave chips. Uh, nah, you know what? I'm just going to save here and whatever. If I draw sword chips... It's not a big deal. For boss time against Stone Man 2. Okay, let's see what we got here. So this is basically like the other previous refight, uh, where it's exactly the same, except he has more HP pretty much. So let's see. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then I'll try to bust him down the rest of the way. Whoop. Careful. Okay, where are those going to fall? Get out of the way. Good. Yeah, my reaction speed, not so good. Actually, it's kind of fortunate that I have that uh, block behind me there. That way I won't accidentally step back there and might get out of sync with the boss there. Okay, just go with that. Oop. Keep on pressing the wrong way to go. Yeah, instead of stepping isn't as easy as it looks. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. Let's see. It would be nice to get more than one chip to use at a time. But I suppose I kind of developed my folder that way. Just, I can't seem to draw multiple shockwaves. Oh, well. Okay, just keep going with that. Okay, got that. Let's see, good dino wave should do. Yep. Okay, hit him with that. Oh, he flinched there, so... Yeah, that prevents me from hitting with my buster. But we got him all the same. Hooray! And for defeating him, we get the Stone Man chip. It doesn't really matter how much time it takes. That's why I didn't even bother redoing the fight, because I got hit. It's like, whatever. Okay, but yeah, the way it works is it'll drop three stones on the enemy area. And if it hits an enemy, then it will uh, deal 100 damage to them. Or it does it three times. It drops three stones, then three more, then three more, and any of those three can hit the same tile or whatever. So it can help you kill multiple enemies at once if you get a little lucky. Kind of roll the dice on that a little bit, but I think it's worth it. We don't have very many chips that can kill multiple enemies at once. Okay, another one there. One more chip I want to get. Come on. Yes, okay. Rock Cube. Not that it's really useful, but I just wanted to grab that so that I can have it for my collection. What scheme are the bad guys going to come up with next? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.